Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed, October 16, 2018, 11.39 p.m. Birmingham, and topic, the upcoming midterm elections. Let me tell you how really important it is and how a lot of people that are running for office just say Democrat, that's a new congressman or a new senator going in when they get in there, they said, well, you know what? We like to continue the policies that are underway because they're working. And wrong answer. That's what you'll get from Pelosi and Waters. And that's what you'll get from Chuck Schumer or Schumer. And even Holder, he will be back in there somewhere at some capacity. And I hate that because he's already told you who he was. Kick them when they're down. Holder said it multiple times. Kick them when they're down. That sounds like an unfair fight, Holder. That sounds like get them down and pile on them, Holder. It doesn't sound like something that a, a man of character would say. But you said it. And you cannot unsay it. It's out there. That made me think of you rather than a man of stature, a man that had political sense and a man that was doing his job. You made me think that you were a different color. Kick them when they're down. Get them down when they're weak and kick them when they're down. Waters. They go in there and buy gas. Get in their face. Stop them from buying gas. Run them out of that place. They go in there to eat. Get in their face. Surround their table. And you stay on them. You get down and so close to them that you're actually spitting on them is what it is until you force them out. If they go shopping and you see them, get in there with them. You surround them and force them out of that place. Waters, that's the way you feel. That's what you want. You want everybody who's a conservative, everybody who voted for Trump. You want to treat them like crap, all of them, not even knowing who they are. Yes, that's your answer. You already said yes to that. And Pelosi, you said the very same thing. You said the very same thing. You said, get in their face. You said, run them out. And you said a lot of other things that kind of make people think that you're a little bit ditzy. Waters, we know she's crazy. Schumer, and we know you're a, you're a liar, Schumer. Coming out of my mouth. You're lying. You're lying, Schumer. Just like the lying media. You're telling lies. Now, I want to say about Warren, about being Native American. Warren, it doesn't matter, really. What is the big deal? What is the issue, whether you are or whether you are not? Let me tell you who my grandmother was. And let me ask you if you've ever heard these words. My dad, growing up, he had 13 brothers and sisters. But he was told by our federal government, do not tell anyone that you are Native American. Oh, my aunts and uncles were told, you don't tell anyone that you're Native American. One, only one had the guts to ask why, and that was my grandfather. He said, why shouldn't they know? He said, because they'll all be treated black. That's the God's truth. You don't tell anyone you're Native American because you'll be put in the category of a black person. 
And if you think about the Native Americans, that's how they were treated. So that tells me that they treated blacks pretty crappy back then. And this is the same tradition that the Democrats want to keep going. They want to keep kicking them when they're down, run them out of the place when they're eating, run them out of the place when they're shopping or buying gas. They're going to hurt someone one day, and it's going to blow up big in their face. But if you put a bunch of people that say, well, I don't care about the Democrat policies, I care about what's underway today. It's working. Well, they don't like it because it's working. Just that. They don't like it because it is working. And they hated Trump from day one. And they said they'd fight him at everything he did. Now, the flip side. Let me give you some good news. Kim Clements, in 2007, he was preaching he prophesied too. But during his preaching, he stopped. He said, I'm getting a message from the Lord. In 2007, he didn't know Donald Trump. He said, there's going to be a Trump. And then he said, a trumpet in America. And America will be changed there will be trumpets. Well, you know, when you start hearing trumpets, it's a message. God, listen up, folks. I got something to tell you. It can be good or it can be bad. But he kept saying Trump, trumpet. He didn't know. And then he said on another time in 2007, he said, I got a message from the Lord. We're going to have a Trump in the White House. And he's going to be there for two terms. In 2007, he said that and didn't know Donald Trump. He said Trump will be in for two terms. He said in America will prosper greatly. America will be rewarded sevenfold over all that they had done to help nations that used that money to hurt America. He said, a Trump in the White House, sevenfold return on all that they have given out and wealth will come to the United States and their strength will come back and they will be the leading nation on this planet. 2007, he said that. And then the fireman, 2011, basically echoed the same words. So guys, regardless how the vote goes, Donald Trump will be our president for six more years. But let's just hope we're not going through this battle every day because you have rights and if you're being infringed upon, that means harassed. That is against the law. When Trump goes into after the midterms, he'll have more power to shut down the media that lies to the country about everything because you don't know the truth. You really don't know the truth. The media that lies about everything and all those who are going in with hopes of continuing a decent trend, but you have the seniors that tell the rookies, you'll do what I tell you to do. And if you don't do that, then there's a thing called blackball. That's, that's a, really going to happen to a lot of people. But Schumer... Waters, Pelosi, God, they're lying and they're horrible. And you want to live out your life the next several years and being treated 
like you were an alien. I mean, an alien, you know, slid, slid eyes and big head. You want to be treated like you're something else. Well, that's what they want to do to you. And they want to wrap this thing up in a neat ball and give it to the UN and give it to the Pope and let them slice and dice it any, they, any way they want so that the new world order can come in and take over. It's not going to happen at least for six years because Trump will remain president. After that, I can only say God be with us. Jody Wolf Exposed.